on example seven, again, we're just going to set it up first. The denominators are exactly the same. So that step is already done for you. Step two, we're going to distribute and combine like terms. So we do have a minus sign, so we're going to distribute it into all the terms on the second fraction. So when you distribute the minus sign, we have negative n and plus 3. So we're going to have minus n plus 3 up here. 25n minus 1n is 24n. And 5 plus 3 is 8. So when you rewrite it out, you should get this. And now we're done with step two. Step three, we're going to cross multiply. With the n plus 5 and the 24n plus 8, you're going to have to either use box method or foil to find the product. So after you've written out the box method for your two binomials, you get 24n squared in the first box, and then plus 8n, plus 120n, and then plus 40. We can buy like terms, 120n plus 8n is 128n. So now you're done with your cross multiplication. Step four, you're going to move everything to one side. I would move it all to the right side on this one to have your lady term positive. So we'll subtract 5n squared, add 5n, and then add 150 to both sides of the less they're greater than sign, less they're equal to signs. So now you have 0 is less than or equal to 19n squared plus 133n plus 190. So now we've moved everything to one side. Now let's see if we can factor anything out. All three of these numbers go, like 19 goes into those numbers. So we can factor out a 19. So go ahead and see if you can factor this trinomial out using the x method. Okay, you should have got 